Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. All right, messages for Scorpios. There we have telepathic messages and <laughs> run forest run. So ooh, let's see what's going on here, Scorpios. All right, what are these telepathic messages about for Scorpio? So these could be telepathic messages from your angels, your spirit team, or this could be from somebody else. Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So you and an, you and an air sign could be sending telepathic messages to each other back and forth. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. There's the bird. You could be seeing birds a lot or birds are significant. These messages are coming in very quick, very sudden. Like for some of you, like it could be like you get, let's say, let's say somebody's thinking about you, Scorpio, and then you call them out of the blue, just, you just out of the blue, just suddenly call them. This person's like, what the hell, Scorpio? I was just thinking about you. How'd you do that? There could be a lot of that happening. Or it could be a lot of like. Um, you sitting right next to somebody and a song is playing in your head and then all of a sudden that person starts singing the song and it's just like how did you know I was singing that song in my head <laughs> so yeah you're having it's either you and another person or just you overall Scorpio maybe getting or receiving strong telepathic messages being able to read people's minds their thoughts um, and again, I feel like this is happening very fast, very quickly, very suddenly. Tell me more about these telepathic messages for Scorpio. Ten of Cups. I feel like these uh, messages are... Ones of happiness, Nine of Cups. Wishes being fulfilled here, Scorpio. You could be receiving telepathic messages about somebody wanting a family with you or somebody wanting like a happily ever after with you here, Scorpio. Somebody telling you they love you. You could also be having um, like you and your children or you and your person, your spouse, your partner, your children. Like you and your family have strong tele a telepathic bond is what I feel here, Scorpio, as well. Yeah, King of Pentacles, the Lovers. Tell me more about these telepathic messages. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Energy, Ten of Swords. So 1010, you could be seeing 1010. So these telepathic messages. Um, okay, you could be also receiving telepathic messages from somebody who has betrayed you. Yeah, you're receiving some sort of clarity and truth through your telepathic messages. This is somebody who's kind of almost like confessing that they betrayed you without actually having to, con like without actually confessing it, Scorpio. You're hearing this person's thoughts in some sort of way. You're, re you're receiving their thoughts and you're going to, you're going to hear about this. You're going to know who betrayed you or... You're going to know that they betrayed you. I can't talk. Damn it. You're going to know they betrayed you, Scorpio, but it's going to come through telepathic message. And it's going to be a clear one. Okay. Wow. What else here for Scorpio? Yeah. Ten of, um, ten. The hangman I just saw. So a lot could be happening in your dream state at this time, Scorpio. A lot of crown activation is what this feels like. page of cups yeah somebody could be uh telepathically apologizing to you scorpio and i feel like you're over it i feel like you're receiving messages of your future happiness your future success your wishes that are going to be fulfilled and you're over it you're no longer dealing with um backstabbers betrayers painful endings You might take the telepathic apology, but that's about as far as it goes for you, Scorpio. There you are, death. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's over. You're you're done. I feel like this is somebody who could have been inconsistent, in and out, flighty, whether they were 
uh, a player or just like a friend who was who would rush in when they needed something but would leave just as fast right solid telepathic messages scorpio also like i said you could have a child you share telepathic messages with this child could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio you could also have another child, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, who you share telepathic messages with. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a masculine or there's a masculine that you also share telepathic messages with. I don't feel like it's a child. I feel like this is a an adult. Okay, this could be your person. Any more of these telepathic messages. Knight of Cups. So you know somebody's trying to come in with a half-ass offer you know somebody's trying to come in with a half-ass offer scorpio this is the same person who's betrayed you before you can feel this person coming you know you hear this person's thoughts and you know that they're, they're like gonna come back in to betray you again you know it's just a half love offer eight of cups just fell in my lap this is why you're walking away scorpio Wow. Spirit is not playing about you. <laughs> They're like, yeah, let, let, let us let you know ahead of time what's going on. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you could be up like late at night. Like you could be receiving a lot of telepathic messages to the point where like you could be getting headaches. Um, you could have insomnia. I feel like you're getting like a lot of downloads, um, but I also feel like there could be somebody here. Okay, this came up in the last reading too about somebody being haunted because karma's here. Justice is being balanced. You're seeing right through somebody, Scorpio. Somebody knows you're seeing right through them and like they could be very stressed out. They may not be sleeping. Again, this person could be getting, ha could be getting haunted by like your ancestors or your spirit team. Um... Tell me about this King of Pentacles here. <laughs> it came out, Scorpio. That's who stressed the hell out. This Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, if it's not an Earth sign, then it's somebody who you had a connection with when it came to money. Y'all could have been married. This came up in the last reading about a marriage and a divorce. You could have been married to this person. This person could have been... Um, Again, somebody you shared finances with or dealt fi with finances, like, a, a, I don't know. And when I say half-ass half, half love offer, it could be love, like, romantic, or it could be a friend, you know. Um, somebody you were in business with, Scorpio. But this person is being haunted by, because justice is here. For some of you, this could be like this person could end up having like legal issues. And they're like sending you these telepathic messages and you're just you're just knowing shit ahead of time, Scorpio. You're very grounded right now. You could also be receiving telepathic messages again about your future success, your future stability. The fact that you're going to be some sort of boss. Mm. tell me about run forest run why is this here for scorpios and this could be why you're running scorpios this you you hear maybe you want to run away from these telepathic messages you're receiving maybe you don't want to hear some of them but i feel like you could just be running away from this person because or now like spirit is telling you like run run forest run don't you know what i'm saying don't fall for this person's shenanigans again tell me more about run forest run here for scorpio the sun Fell right on top of the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Like, you are aware, Scorpio. It's been illuminated to you that who betrayed you, the fact that they're trying to come in with an apology and a half ass love offer, it's being illuminated. The sun. 
And this is like spirit. Spirit is showing you something or illuminating something to you here so that you can get away from a particular person. This is why you were given this gift of telepathy. Leo energy here. There may be a Leo that you're needing to run from or get away from or not even entertain, Scorpio. I'm hearing shoot for the stars, shoot for the moon. A lot of you are really going after your um your wishes, your dreams, your goals, your ambitions. Aquarius energy here. Hmm. Tell me about Run Forest Run. Queen Wands. Scorpios, run and don't look back. Run and don't look back because it's like you're stepping into this. What is this? What's going on? Oh, the Emperor in reverse. Mm -hmm. Aries energy. So this is somebody who is out of control. They could be... Um, this person could be somebody who is like their life could be out of control so they like to control things or people this could be somebody who's very abusive a tyrant a bully overpowering and look how this queen of, like you already know you need to get run get away from this person something is off about this person this person's not a true divine masculine like there's something is wrong with this person actually wow and like i kept trying to put it back judgment wanted to come out in reverse this emperor in reverse. This is somebody who is receiving bad karma or about to. They made bad judgment calls or made a bad judgment call when it came to you, Scorpio. Tell me about this emperor in reverse. Tell me about this emperor in reverse. Divine masculine waking up, coming out in reverse. Exactly. This is somebody who's not a divine masculine. And if they are, they're not waking up. They're sleep. Sleep sheep. more about this divine masculine in reverse limelight in reverse i don't usually take these cards in reverse but spirit is telling me to this is somebody who doesn't like they're not in the limelight they're not in the spotlight scorpio you might be with this queen of wands energy you could be some sort of entrepreneur you could be a, a content creator you're just very creative artistic um you could be a little witchy uh <laughs> like you're just very intuitive here very strong very confident and this person is jealous of that. This could be, um, like, you could be a, a woman. And this is, like, a man who is jealous of you, Scorpio. Trying to have some sort of... This is, like... Mm. Yeah, this is somebody who's upset that they're not in the limelight in some sort of way, Scorpio. This is somebody who's not awakened. Tell me more about this Emperor in reverse. Worry about nothing. Your ancestors got you. So, you're protected from this person. This is why they're giving you the warning to run from this person now. Get away from this person. They're big mad. Came out in reverse. So, uh, Scorpio, I feel like you're... This could be your energy. Like, you're not mad about shit that this person did. You're, like, unbothered. And that is bothering this person. The fact that you're not mad. Weird. Stay spiritually strapped. And it fell on top of this Knight of Cups. So, definitely stay protected from whoever this Knight of Cups is. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, if this is not a water sign, this is somebody who just comes in and love bombs Scorpio. They love bomb. They come in, they betray you, backstab you. Like this is, um, it wouldn't be the first time. Tell me more for this emperor. They can't touch you came out. So this emperor is somebody who can't touch you Scorpio. And this is why they're mad. And they're mad that you're not mad. Barbie dream house in reverse. Somebody could be losing a home. What else here for Scorpio? There you are, Scorpio. Death, rebirth. You're having a major transformation. You're going through a major transformation. Or your life is about to. 
All right. Yeah, we have mind control. This person wanted to control your mind in some sort of way, have some sort of control over your mind. Um, and we have at the crossroads. So um, some of you could be at the crossroads when it comes to. What is at the crossroads about? Spiritual gangster. <laughs> half love and light, half kicking ass is now taking names. Taking names later. So you're at a crossroads of whether or not you want to take your stinger out or keep it tucked for now, Scorpio. That's what this is giving me. Something about September could be significant or you could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo. Tell me more about this for Scorpio. Queen, okay? And it fell right on top of King. So you could definitely be receiving a te telepathic messages from your king or your queen. The person you're meant to be with, Scorpio. This ten of cups right here. Not the ten of swords. What else here for Scorpios? I want to freeze time when I'm with you. And this fell out on top of the knight of cups. So this is somebody who wants to keep you stuck, Scorpio, so that they can like come in and use and abuse you like they could love bomb you and come in and like i could talk to you for hours this is somebody who maybe you used to talk on the phone you used to talk to them on the phone for hours or you guys used to have out like long conversations in person or on the phone we have nature earth angel called to work with nature or be guardians of nature so maybe you and this person were supposed to work together in some sort of way but they messed that up. What else here for Scorpios? Money spells. Wanting to come out in reverse. So, ooh. Mmm. Mmm, Scorpio. So this person, whoever betrayed you here, who's trying to come in to love bomb you, give you some sort of half-assed love offer, this person could have been doing money spells on you, but it came out in reverse, so it did not work. It reversed. And I have a video talking about money spells being reversed. So... There it is. This is why somebody wants to like come in and apologize or they're telepathically apologizing. It's because they did some sort of money spells and it didn't work. And so it could be backfiring in some sort of way. This person could be reaping the... We did see justice and I kept talking about karma. So this person could definitely be reaping their karma because of it. This person's at the crossroads. They could be being judged, weighing their heart against the feather. New levels, new devils. Okay. Um, it came out in reverse. So there's in, in September significant. So there's like somebody you left behind. Some sort of devilish energy you left behind, Scorpio. Possibly in the month of September. You are not carrying this person into your new chapter, your new level here. Um, separation just came, uh, just fell out of my lap. So yeah, you're in separation from this person. What else here for Scorpios? The most high is exposing your enemies through your dreams. So pay attention, Scorpio. Because this person is being exposed in your dreams for what they did to you. For doing money spells, um, for possibly trying to make you lose your home here, or you possibly you did lose your home, Scorpio. Yeah, look at this. So, <laughs> thief of joy. Somebody wanted to steal your joy, your happiness, Scorpio, because they were mad. They're miserable. They're not in the limelight. They're not having success. Um, they're not woke like you, Scorpio. What else here for Scorpios? Your divine counterpart is on their way. So, and support those who support you fell out. And it fell on top of this king of pentacles. So this king of pentacles is going to be very supportive of you, Scorpio. And you're going to be very supportive of them. This is your divine counterpart. What else here for Scorpios? First millionaire in the family in reverse. So Scorpios, somebody could have known that you would be the first millionaire in the family. Nine of pentacles at the bottom. Um, somebody knew that you would be very successful and possibly the first millionaire in the family and they were trying to stop that. That's what they were trying to bring a painful end to here. Yeah, your spiritual gifts are progressing, Scorpio. Your presence is a, your presence is a present. My presence is a present. Kiss my ass. Right, is that how it goes? I don't know. I think that's Kanye West. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Anything else for Scorpios? You got it. You got it, girl. You got it. Spiritual gifts. Illuminating things that have been hidden by others. That's your gift, Scorpio. One of your many gifts. Two bodies, one soul, soulmate. So you're about to come together with your soulmate, Scorpio. 
If you're not already, you may already be in a connection with this person. <clears throat> Beast mode on top of King of Pentacles. So this is somebody who definitely works hard. They're not afraid to go after what it is they want to build the life they want, Scorpio. I feel like you are in this energy as well. We have raise your price in reverse. So somebody here is very insecure. And I feel like it's this emperor in reverse. This person has no self-worth. Um... They want you to not have, they, they, I feel like this person envies the fact that you do, that you are confident, Scorpio, with this Queen of Wands upright. And I really feel like this is a masculine energy. We have winter in reverse. Yeah, okay, so winter with the, somebody, you, somebody could have tried to ice out Scorpio. could be coming around in the winter but i feel like there's something about hmm. somebody doesn't want something to happen for you in the winter time the winter time is now between the months of what december to march early march so there's something happening for you between those months scorpio or in the winter time and i feel like somebody again trying to stop it um check your dms so this could be this person, this Knight of Cups, reaching out through social media, Instagram, direct messages. We have Cat Got Your Tongue came out in reverse. So Scorpio, I feel like you're not holding back from somebody anymore. You're not holding back whatever it is that you have to say. Like, I feel like you're just going <laughs> to tell it like it is. I mean, I'm sure you already do, but I feel like when it comes to this person, you're just... Maybe before cat got your tongue, maybe you didn't want to be mean to this person. Maybe you didn't want to, you know, hurt, hurt this person's feelings, but you're meant for great things in this lifetime, Scorpio. What else? Expect a text or call, but I feel like either this person is blocked or you're just going to reject or block the call, Scorpio. <sighs> what else for Scorpio? Oh my God. Money will be flowing in in reverse. Yeah, somebody was trying to stop your money flow, Scorpio. This was that betrayal. Somebody was trying to end your money. Gift of manifestation, but that's your gift as well. Like I said, you have many gifts, Scorpio. Spirit, the gift of illuminating things that have been hidden by others is just one. You have a strong gift of manifestation here. So this person could have tried whatever it is that they wanted to try to bring some sort of painful ending here um, towards you, Scorpio, but you just manifested something else. Yeah, because success is written in the stars. You being successful is just written in the stars somebody could have been somebody was definitely trying to stop that vacation mode okay so a lot of you could be going on vacation or maybe you're just taking a break or you're going to be able to i'm not a businessman i'm a businessman in reverse so somebody somebody's business could have failed here um somebody could have been trying to make your business fail with this in reverse and then we have key to success. Doors full of successful opportunities are opening up in reverse. Yeah, somebody was trying to block these doors from opening up for you, Scorpio. You could be a business owner, an entrepreneur, like I said. And somebody was literally trying to block this. Yeah, dream big. Everything you dream of comes to fruition. So go big or go home. They're trying to block your dreams. Again, this is where you receive, like, your telepathic messages could also come through your dream, Scorpio. And this is where you're receiving a lot of messages about your happiness, your success, your um, emotional fulfillment, your wishes being granted. Somebody was trying to block your dreams here. Like, literally your dreams and literally your dreams as in your goals. Key to love. Doors of love are opening up. So, and that came out upright. So, love is here, Scorpio, or it's it's on its way. You're receiving telepathic messages about it. August could be significant. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. No, I'm sorry. A Leo or a Virgo. What else here for Scorpio? North, South, East, West in reverse. Somebody can't travel, Scorpio. Or somebody can't travel towards you. Somebody's lost. I'm here. I'm lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel? To know that I love you, baby. You are the perfect package, Scorpio. <laughs> Anything else here? All right. Fourth of July could be significant. Why am I hearing that Katy Perry song, Fourth of July? Like, I can't think of the lyrics right now, but I can hear it playing in my head. Um, Trust the most high in reverse. I feel like it's this... 
this emperor may like they could be like um they might either not believe in god i mean no judgment but i feel like this person that's not i feel like this person has no higher power this person does not trust the most high they don't have faith in a higher power they don't have a higher power i wouldn't be shocked if this person worships something uh on the low vibrational end <clears throat> avoid impulsive spending or investments scorpio what else here i'm coming in with communication and truth i told you somebody's trying to come in okay so okay so this could this could be this communication and truth could be coming in the form of telepathic messages scorpio so pay attention to your dreams pay attention to literally what you're hearing okay karmic lesson in reverse this person has not learned the karmic lesson scorpio and they're hoping you haven't either you're worth it scorpio this is about you knowing your worth okay caregiver earth angel you feel alive and joyful when nurturing people and things and this is what this person knows about you scorpio this is why they feel like they can come back in and if this person doesn't know you've been going through shifts and changes scorpio 555 they're gonna come back to a changed person unashamed and unapologetic that's you scorpio and i feel like this person's unashamed and un unapologetic for whatever it is that they did to you um you got my soul mm. anything else for scorpios slate wiped clean but that wanted to come out in reverse i flipped it up right so this person is not going to have a new beginning scorpio this person's going to be repeating lessons on top of lessons on top of lessons until they get it even if it's not with you scorpio start that business sis start that business bro so scorpio you could be starting a business like i said somebody could have been trying to end a business that you had Okay, but it's it's like spirit came in and gave you a new idea and now you're starting something new, Scorpio. So for some, this person could have wanted to start a business and they just did not have the confidence with this emperor in reverse, the emperor in reverse. Like the emperor is not afraid to start a business. The emperor is not afraid to um, step into that role, you know, but this person, they are insecure. They don't have that drive, that confidence. They like to maybe play like they're an emperor or a divine masculine, but that's not the truth at all. This person has an issue. Like this person could have wanted to be in the limelight in some sort of way and it's just not happening. Like this person's dreams are not coming to fruition. We have karmic feminine coming out. So this could be a karmic feminine um, man or woman. Does not matter. This person could just embody um, feminine energy um okay what else here for scorpios all right sources preparing your table in front of your enemies <laughs> wow let's get some advice scorpio Advice for Scorpios in regards to this message. Ajna Durga, power of the good. Mm, tigers could be significant. Number 15. So you could be born on November 15th. Um, breaks down to six. You could be born on November 6th, be a life path six. Or you could be seeing 6-6 six, six a lot as well. Um, 15 is also connected to the... I don't know why they're, they're telling me this, but 15 is also connected to the devil. So, again, overcoming some sort of karmic connection, toxic connection here, Scorpio. Somebody who was very controlling. Um, narcissistic, possibly, even with this emperor in reverse and spirit showing me the devil or letting me know about the devil here. All right, you need 
never lose faith in the power of good. You need never lose faith in how much you can accomplish as an independent and inspired individual in this world. You need never believe that you are alone or without divine protection. You need never fear evil. The third eye of the Divine Mother sees all things, is ever watchful and ever just. She births through holy vision, the manifest power of good in all realms. Her gaze is upon you now. Trust her. Believe in the power of the divine to keep an eye on things for you. Trust that power to alert you when you need to know something or to understand what is happening in your life and what you need. Even if you aren't so sure of that yourself at times. Actively contest negativity. When you feel something isn't coming from love, acknowledge it immediately. You don't have to make it about you or analyze it. Use your divine connection to deal with it promptly and effectively. Call for divine support in all things. You will not divert help from someone else if you ask for it for yourself. Allowing yourself to be helped empowers your path, which in turn helps all beings. Divine assistance is always there for you unconditionally. If you're not thinking the best thoughts, divine support will correct them. Never hesitate to call for that support. It is your greatest ally. Give up your attachment to past experiences of rejection and abandonment so that you can open so that you can open to how much the divine loves you and can help you. Practice feeling confidence and unconditional trust in a higher power. Knowing it is stronger than all else. Um, let's see. Durga comes in. Um, Durga comes into view when you have been fighting negative energies at some level, whether obviously in the world or more deeply within your soul. If you do not acknowledge this, you may fall prey to unnecessary confusion and self-doubt believing that the issue can be dealt with a, with as a solely psychological matter. Instead, it is a spiritual issue that requires the divine intervention and protection now offered to you. It is helpful to remember that evil is not about people, but about the forces that operate through them with ill intent. Durga is an instinct, inextinguishable light, and she is rising within you now. Her presence reminds you of the light that is divine and true and therefore cannot ever be subject to any lesser power such as hate, fear, jealousy, spite, or greed. No matter how intimidating an opponent or situation may seem, they are no match for the sacred rage of the divine goddess of light and justice. She vanquishes the evil that haunts their souls and perpetuate, perpetuates distress. Durga is your ally, your divine weapon, your refuge, and your vital energy for sacred purpose. Do not allow yourself to be intimidated. You can be confident in yourself and go about your work. You need not explain yourself or justify your actions to anyone other than the, than the divine and your own heart. Do not turn away from any obstacle. Believe in the power of the divine to clear the path and the way shall be cleared. Believe that you are held in the fort of divine light. Let your confidence and trust in the divine goddess of goodness radiate from you like a shining sun that fills your heart, mind, and belly. If your confidence has diminished because of past attacks or encounters with those who are so toxic that they cannot or will not recognize the difference between constructive communication and verbal, emotional, psychic, or physical abuse, then take heart. You are blessed with divine intervention, protection, and healing. Your confidence and sense of personal and spiritual power shall be fully restored and will increase through this experience of healing. You shall discover the peace and confidence that comes from the realization. I was going to say constellation. So something about maybe constellations, okay, astrology. Um, you shall discover the peace and confidence that comes from the realization that love can never be conquered. Wow. Scorpios, like, comment, subscribe, and share if this resonated. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, anything you need to know is in the description box below. Until next time, guys. Bye.